Eric Palacios was a teenager in motion until two broken bones in two years left his family with a medical mystery. I was kind of frustrated when my leg was broken because I like to play soccer and I played soccer like mostly every day and when I had my broken leg I couldn't do anything. Eric was diagnosed with an enlarged abnormally functioning parathyroid gland that was leaching calcium from his bones. Two previous surgeries at another hospital to remove the tiny rice sized gland in his neck had failed. This was obviously a very frustrating situation. I as a father, I can, I can see that. Your child having broken bones, not getting better. I know that something strange is going on. This is not a routine case. There's something uncommon. The likelihood of a parathyroid gland in an unusual location would be very high. It is just the type of difficult case that doctors at UCLA have been researching for the past two years, developing the latest in diagnostic technology and treatment, advancing beyond traditional nuclear medicine and ultrasound to now 4D CT imaging. The 4D and 4D CT scanning refers to the fourth dimension being time. So we do get three-dimensional imaging and we get it at three distinct time points. Before the infusion of contrast, which is a little um, IV substance, a little contrast eye placed in the vein, uh, an arterial phase where the parathyroid gland will light up very, very bright because it has a rich blood supply, and then a venous phase where that contrast starts to wash out, and it provides a very accurate three-dimensional localization of the gland. And it really has been a game changer in the evaluation of patients with primary hyperparathyroidism. It allows for a safer surgery, Number two, it allows for a less invasive surgery. And number three, it allows for a more effective surgery, a higher chance of achieving a cure, because removal of the abnormal gland is the only cure for the disease. Using 4D CT imaging, doctors at UCLA have been able to find approximately 85% of previously undetectable abnormal parathyroid glands. It's not just the technical aspects of the scan, but it's the mind that reads the scan, a mind that has been informed by years of interaction with surgeons to make sure that the scan is interpreted in the appropriate context that really enables the operation to proceed well. I can't overemphasize that last point, that feedback and improvement process that we went through really brought a lot of value. Using 4D CT imaging, doctors at UCLA were able to find Eric's elusive hyperactive parathyroid gland and remove it. My hopes are to finish high school, go to college, and get a good job. We have had a number of people who otherwise would not have been curable, who would have lived shortened lives or lives of permanent disability. To see him today, and he's strong, and the bones are straight, and he looks good, I can see that he just moved on with his life, and he's having the life of the normal kid should have, and I feel happy.